Hello, welcome back to Fragmental. I have a perfumer with me today and he's going to be rating panty droppers. Aaron, what do you think about panty droppers? I can't even believe I'm going to be in a video about panty droppers. Well, to find out what Aaron thinks about these panty droppers I've picked out for him, stay tuned. Panty droppers, it's kind of a weird term, isn't it? It's a bit, do you agree with, with that word when we're talking about fragrances? I haven't had Botox done for a little bit and I think this video is gonna make me produce lots of wrinkles. I'm gonna need Nurse Ratchet to come around and give me emergency <laughs> Botox after this video. That's all I'm gonna say. And I can't even, I'm not gonna say that word. I think it's a bit- Hey, uh, you're good, kind you're of good. Whatever. Okay. Anyway, we're not talking about Botox, we're talking about panties. Okay, fine. So okay, stop right. getting your knickers in a twist <laughs> about your Botox. Okay. Panty droppers, is it a term that we should be saying in Fragcom to describe fragrances? I think it's a very popular word, kind of whatever. I don't get offended by anything, but it kind of makes me feel a bit embarrassed, it's, a bit, oh no. It's a weird, however. it's a weird word. Whatever you want to say, women killer fragrances, boxer droppers, brief droppers, whatever you want to call it. Basically, we're talking about a fragrance that smells so mass appealing and so likeable that the majority of people out there, whether they're girls or boys or whatever, are gonna find it a nice sexy smell. I've done um, a lot of research on, on sort of what men and women like, actually. So I have a lot of um, last two years, so we'll, we'll see. Let's get started. Aaron, have you got your panties on and are you engaging with your higher self? I, I have my, um, what are they called? Bloomers on. Bloomers right. on, pulled up really tight. Good, so your, your bloomers are ready to be dropped. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go. I've picked just a small selection of, of five panty dropper fragrances. Fragrances that, in my opinion, are that style, that panty dropper, very mass appealing, sexy style of fragrance, and fragrances that commonly appear in panty dropper videos. Okay. But we just want to see whether these drop your panties. Okay, fine, okay. All let's your bloomers. <laughs> Okay, this is stupid. All right, so here is the first Panty Rocker okay. fragrance. Um, we're gonna get a rating on all of these as well. This is a Panty Dropper thing, really? It's been said. It, so spicy clean, spicy clean, sweet, clean projection. That's what I was telling you about a minute ago. Yeah. So that clean, spicy uh, projection. Lots of projection. When yeah. you wear this, you might not be able to tell on the strip, but on the skin, lots of projection and longevity. Pepper, uh, using pink pepper in, in the base of it. It's got a soapy thing to it as well, so it's like a, a soapy clean. Mm. I, I don't really like it. Pepper in a fragrance can give, um, it's like a spicy cleanness. It's, yeah. a, it's quite a weird thing with, pep with pepper, what it does. It's okay, it's, it's, I don't, not, not, not for me. Okay, all right, on to the next one. Okay. They've all got the This Is Sweet as well. So they're all, there's a sweetness, which is not one, this one. I prefer this one. Okay, yeah. The Many would agree with you. Uh, the, the pink pepper kind of threw me a little bit on that. It's kind of pink. You have to, pink pepper's a really difficult raw material to work with because it can be a little bit jarring. Mm. Too much of that note. This I prefer, vanilla-y, woody, sort of spicy, clean. I don't think that was a young fragrance. It's like a younger demographic, I think it's slightly older. Yeah. It's nice that so one. So you think more mature? Yeah. Oh, what we, we didn't, we'd need to rate that. Ooh, uh, that's a hard rate. That well, one? this is um, out of 10. As, as a, a panty dropper fragrance, what rating would you give it? Definitely that mass appealing, oh, dihydromersonal yeah. thing in it. And seven. It's, it's okay. Seven and out of 10? I, I okay. think it, it may be on the skin, it may wear different on the strip. It's kind of, it's all right. And then this one? Better. The quality is better. The quality raw materials is sort of slightly higher. That's what it smells like to me. I think there'd be more raw materials. I like the cedar wood and it. it's very woody, spicy, clean. Uh, an eight. I wouldn't wear it, but I think it's great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So we've got a seven and an eight. Third one. Obviously, I like this. I like it when it's uh, sweet, woody. This has got a perfume de Mali thing to it. Perfume de Mali always um, are amazing at putting so the vanillin molecules and other sort of molecules, not always, but like the vanillin and Kumara and ethyl vanillin against a sort of a clean, really, really clean backbone. And this is what this is meant like, that really clean, uh, maybe slightly soapy sort of finish to it. Galax Slide is the uh, back note. It's, it's, it's that clean sort of fabric conditioner smell. And that generally is always sort of Galax Slide. 
maybe touchfully a bit glag slide. Yeah, this I is like definitely this. Uh, the category of fragrance that you um, prefer personally yeah, to I, so the I first like two. This, this yeah. is like clean, sweet, like really, really, if you take fabric condition and then add it into, and then make it into a fine fragrance and add some wood raw materials, it's very mm. nice. Yeah, you're liking that one out of 10? Um, oh God, it's about a nine, I think. I think, a nine, I think it's very okay. nice. I kind of, um, but I think it, maybe if it had incredible longevity, if it was insane longevity, it would be like a 10. So kind of that's where the 10 marks come when it's sort of, but you yeah. don't read. So I, I reserve my uh, thought process on that, but I think it's really nice. Yeah, uh, yeah. For, in my experience, I, I get pretty decent performance, okay. uh, projection longevity off that, so high it marks. It doesn't smell uh, cheap. No, no, no. So we go with a nine. Yeah, right, great. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. This is nice too. See, this has got the spiciness in it of the first. It's kind of spi like that um, spicy note to it. This one's like Amouage. So Amouage have that, uh, I was saying you earlier, Amouage have that thing and it's, uh, or it's the frankincense. I think it's the frankincense mixed with the sort of the smooth wood notes. And kind of, you can always tell Amouage straight off. They're, I think they, they won an award for sustainability for frankincense. Yeah, I think right. I love yeah. that. So I, 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 yeah. I love that. I think it's um, we need to look after the planet with these raw materials. For sure, for sure, yeah. This is uh, this is absolutely amorous. It's got that clean, they have an undoubtedly smoothness mm. to it that I've not smelt in any other range. So how much of a distinctive thing with it. It's this this I like. It's um it's clean. Again, it's that cleanness, isn't it? It's like it does that have clean. a cleanness, yeah. yeah. Very nice. I Dark like this one. It, it's the it's, so I tell you why I, I tell you why I like this. It's the Kumarin mixed with the clean, the clean backbone, mm. and then the amount of naturals in it. You can just smell, and this Almage always smell. Even if you don't like them, you know the quality of raw materials that they use. You can mm. just tell it like a mile of the difference. And I'm not I'm not being a bitch, really. Well, I kind of am. The, the difference between the first one yeah. and this one are completely night and day. Night and day. Yeah. And I think that's why I don't really like the first one. It just smells sort of mass produced and kind of, you know, being cost effective and that you have to cut. You'd have to cut costs somewhere. And yeah. with this, you can tell the they're not cutting costs and you can tell the difference in, for me, yeah. No it just smells quite, No, yeah. that's exactly what it smells like. It smells mm -hmm. strong, robust, wall, smooth. I really like this. Great. Out of 10, what would you give it? Well, I'm gonna give this a 10 because I kind of think oh. it's um, it's a modern interpretation of a, a Middle Eastern fragrance. And I think that's really smart. With this sort of fragrance, I think it's Western brains could could sort of, okay, this is easy to understand. First Absolutely, off. that's why I yeah. like this one I, I really so like much. Um, this, I'll reveal what it is. Okay. I think you know, I think you sort of nailed everything you've okay. said there about it, but this is a fragrance that I've had an insane okay. amount of compliments on people really Love it okay. when I wear this fragrance. I've been told multiple times. Two more to go. This okay. is the fifth one. Very amber based. Yep. So uh, amber and amber woods is a massive classification of raw materials that are, are used and they're used to, they do lots and lots of things like norlimbinols, I think there's an amber wood. These sort of classification of very strong aroma chemicals is not norlimbinol in this. tobacco -y. Very nice. They, initially I didn't like it. It was a, ooh, a little bit harsh, but uh, I think the dry down on this would be really great. It is. Smooth, again, it's smooth and clean. Mm. Smooth, clean, sweet, ambery. Yeah. Niche or designer, do you think? What do you classify as niche? And what do you classify as designer? That maybe Perhaps be... something, like you mentioned, comparing two of these fragrances, that the quality, one Got seems it, yeah. no expense spared. So sort of the quality, the creativity. So I'm gonna answer it like this. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna give a politician's answer, which is kind of not direct. I think if this is designer, they're trying to make it smell niche quality, but it could be niche quality trying to smell commercial. That's feeling, okay. So it's that sort of like yeah. um, thing where it's kind of at that intersection, I can't sort of say straight off. So if it's designer, they're doing a good job. Yeah, but I like the amber that it's, I kind of love this. There's a raw material in this that I am, that's an amber raw material I really, really love using. Very woody, clean, so the same sort of stuff. One like of that. the favorites of friend of the channel, Michelle from Curly Fragrance. Oh, okay. She so talks about this in all her oh, okay. women killer panty dropper okay. videos. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, so out of 10, what would you give that one? Mm, I think it's a nine. I think, nine. It's, I think it's very nice. It's kind of, these, all the, if these are all gonna go up and down with the price, but I think, I don't think that it's as quality as that one. As the one that you think no, is the, the difference, yeah. that's like a right. setup there, but I yeah. think it, they're gonna depend. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say it's an eight. Depending on the price will be whether it goes up. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, okay. okay so I think yeah. that's like fair. Yeah. All right, fine. And uh, last one. Oh, I say I like Tom Ford. No 
hesitation. No, I can tell you can tell it. You know. Yeah, I, I, and again, it's clean, sweet. I love this period of Tom Ford, I thought was amazing and very inspiring. They produced some mm. amazing stuff. I kind of think they sort of were almost like, we want to create classics. And unfortunately, we've gone, in my opinion, with uh, Tom Ford, I don't like, there's not one thing that I think, particularly think, you know, oh my God, that's like amazing yeah, anymore. They're not reaching the heights of, of that. In, in the period you're talking about, are we, are we maybe thinking sort of 2007? About that period, yep. yeah. The, or I thought that, that was like a made great, uh, inspiring, great perfumery. Yeah. Great perfumers working with their seal order. I don't know, but maybe they were sort of thinking we don't really want to, we're not worried about the profits so much. Mm. And I think maybe with the price it's going to 240. I think there's, yeah. they've gone very profit they've driven. Gone, yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. I, I like this. That's a 10, obviously. It's a okay. classic, yeah. Do you want to hazard a guess at which one, which Tom Ford that is? Oudewood, of course. Okay, yeah. time to reveal okay. our fragrances. If you love fragrance as much as I do, head over to my online store, luxparfum.co.uk. You'll find my favourite brands, plus brands you can't find anywhere else in the UK. Link is in the description. I'll let you re-smell them as I'm okay. telling you what they are. Uh, this one is Sauvage oh, EDT, which for an EDT is a long-lasting you, you smell the pink pipette. Actually. I like Sauvage. Yeah. I don't mind it. It's it's sort of worn a lot, but I wouldn't say that I walk around smelling everyone wearing Sauvage, but it is a common one, obviously. I know that um, on the skin, because we tested this in Mexico, I really, really liked it for the price and kind of what it did. I, I really liked it. I thought it was really excellent. Yeah. I mean, if you love Bergamot and you love pink pepper and all that sort of stuff, you're gonna love like it. Like Sauvage, yeah. I actually didn't like it on the strip, which is quite weird. It does smell different on the strip. God, I know I, we can only do strips in these videos. We don't have room for, for skin for everything. So I know it's not ideal. It does not smell quite the same. When it's warmed up on the skin, that sort of savaginess of it isn't fully blue, no. I don't think. The second fragrance. You said this leans a little older, and I'd agree. This is the uh, original Terre de Mez. Okay. Woody, you said. Woody fragrance, clean and fresh. Yeah, I like that. And I think you gave that one an eight. Not for me, but I, I, you, mm. I think it's a, a great fragrance, but not for me. An easy one to wear if you want to smell attractive, I'd say. Do you know what I'm surprised about with that? The way it's constructed, uh, for the radiance you get off it, I think, uh, I think it's very clever. So I think it's a very, very clever perfume, for kind of um, just how it's constructed is kind of in the radiance you get and the clean radiance you get. Yeah, it's a modern yeah. masterpiece. Yeah, 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 I think so. Uh, so that was an eight for that one. We have uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier are going to be yeah. very pleased with you because you were yeah, like you this. were saying niche quality, performance, longevity, yeah, decent nice. on this, definitely above average. Yeah, I think I think it's nice. I think they know what they're doing. They they know oh, what yeah. they're doing. I don't think they ever pull out. I don't know. Did they ever pull out something that's awful? There's been a couple of flankers to Lamal uh, on board Aviator, nice. which were just a bit sort of they weren't bad but they were just nice. a bit weak and nondescript okay. for me you don't want personally that. uh whereas this one definitely has a more distinctive yes. bolder character to it it's a bit it's a bit of a, of a braver release i think what i said was it has the it could be a perfume de Mali. yeah because of the construction of the sweetness mm -hmm. against the cleanness yeah they balance it really well because if they've got the a bit of sort of that thickness from thick yeah. fluffiness from vanilla but there's uh, a little bit of iris yep. in there, and you've got a little bit of the original Lamal DNA, so that clean, fresh mint. So it's that mint giving it a bit of cleanness, and then the fluffy, sweet vanilla. Really nicely balanced fragrance. I can see why a lot of people would think this is a panty dropper. It drops its panties. So Absolutely, every time. This one. Yeah. Not as much as this one, though. <laughs> this is the one that you said was okay. an amouage. Let's see if you were correct. And yeah. I'm sorry to. S no, I'm not going to lie. You were right. Okay. It is an amouage. It is. Yeah, nice. 45. I mean, I, I think Amage is great. You recently reviewed this on your channel. I watched it. I was very interested. Okay. Uh, I was hoping that you uh, you wouldn't diss it on your channel, and you didn't. You you gave it a very high score. For you, the quality of this seems yeah. to stand above all the others in in this video. One up, one hundred percent is the it, the raw materials that they're using are very high quality. Mm -hmm. You can just sort of tell. I just think you can sort of tell yeah. when it's sort of something that's standard and when it's special. I mean, you do pay for that special quality because it's nearly 400 pounds a bottle, like 500 US dollars, I think. So not, not a cheap fragrance, no. but the amount of uh, positivity I've received towards me whilst wearing this fragrance and the amount of enjoyment I get myself from wearing it 
I don't regret the purchase. No, I think it's great. So it's amazing fragrance, one of my favorites. If I was to choose a signature scent, I'd probably go with this okay. or something like it. And you really liked the next one, Did I? which was on the fence. It could be niche, could be designer, and it was Spice Bomb Extreme. You gave it a nine I, out of 10. I like the clean no, and sweetness. You, know, you, said, you said nine, then you said eight, but depending on the price point and the value, you might up that score. I think it's excellent for that price. So they give yeah. it a nine. I think it, this is great corporate perfumery, done yeah. really well, smells really nice. Yeah, projecting clean. I like it. Well, it's a bang, it's a bang. Yeah. yeah. Drops the bloomers. Okay. Yeah, so we're going for a nine then on that, a nine yeah, out of yeah, 10 because of the price so. of it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'd agree. Definite nine or 10 yeah. out of 10, potentially for me, but okay. a very high score yeah. uh, from the perfumer, okay. the Spice Bomb Extreme. And the last one, you already guessed it, you know, yeah. and I know this is one of your favorites. Yeah. Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Another modern masterpiece, again released, I think 2007, in, in the, the heyday of those uh, Tom Ford releases. And I've heard a lot of, in my experience, a lot of women say they love this on okay. a man. They think it smells incredibly attractive. So I'm taking that as a panty dropper. Your, I agree. Yours I, are I think it's, all yeah, the way down. Absolutely, 100%. With, with uh, Oud Wood. Yes. The fresher ones, the Terre de Mez and uh, Sauvage, you sort of liked, but they weren't your thing. But these four, yeah. you really agree that, that they're panty droppers. They should be in these lists of fragrances that smell sexy and, yeah. and very likable. They get perfumers panty dropper approval. 100%. There are loads more panty droppers that I could have included in this, but I think five was enough, otherwise the video might have been a little bit too long. Right, you can you can pull your pants up and uh, and be on your way. Thanks okay, a lot. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe to Aaron's channel and to mine if you haven't already. Like this video, and if you do all that, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Okay. Bloomers! Bloomers, I just went into my head. I just, you just put an image of, of you wearing bloomers into my head. I know, me yeah, too. I, I it's stupid. <laughs> Are you sure that's not, so, is there something you want to tell me here? Have you got, you know... No, uh, no, it's fine. I feel a bit embarrassed does now. He, does he, does he like a bit of bloomer action? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, oh like yeah, it. you too, it's you as well, isn't it? I, I bet he's got bloomers on as well. It, he's Mexican, he doesn't know what bloomers are. <laughs> Bloomers are what Abuela wears. Okay. Okay.